Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire your Allen Bradley Micro 820 PLC per our Getting Started Guide. In this video, we're going to be using the industrial control panel version of our PLC trainer with the HMI option, but it's the same for all of our Micro 820 trainers. We're going to be using this wiring diagram to wire up our Micro 820. So mainly on this side, we're going to put jumpers from all of our normally open contacts of our four buttons and our switch and we're going to take it to 24 volts and then we're going to connect them to input four five six seven and eight and the most often overlook is we're going to take this com zero here which is the common for all of these terminals and we're going to take it to our minus 24 volt and then on the same, on the other side, we're going to jump our one side of all our lights and it's going to go to the minus of our 24. And then we're going to take light number one is going to go to output zero, two to output one, light three to output two, and light four to output three. So just a little bit, this is one of our standard PLC trainers. Let me just let me spin it around where you can see exactly what we're doing is in the end, what we're going to be doing is we're wiring up these four buttons right here and these four lights. So I'm going to grab some wire and go ahead and hook up just these jumper wires. I'm just going to jumper all of, well actually not all, we're going to go from switch one through button one. And this is going to be the green contacts. That's going to be our normally open contacts. So I have one wire in the first one and I'll take that wire and another wire and I'll put it into button two. And then I'll take that wire and another wire and put it in button three. And then I'll take that wire and another wire and put it in button four. And then I'll take that wire and an additional wire and put it into switch one. So that is going to jump for all of these and I'm going to connect this to our plus 24 volt. And that'll be any of the left terminals right here. And now if I go back to my wiring diagram then I see that button one, the other side of this green contact, needs to go to input four, and then they're just gonna sequentially go to five, six, seven, and eight. And Michael is saying that I need to look at my chat. Are those wire diagrams on your webpage? That is an excellent question, Laura, and yes, they are. And this actually includes our control panel wire diagrams also, but if you'll scroll down, then here you can find all the wiring diagrams. And the one that we're using right now is this TRN-BAS-M820AOI. But okay, so the other side of button one is gonna go to input four, and then they're just gonna sequentially go up to five, six, seven, and eight. So I am going to connect a wire to the bottom of button one, it's green contact, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna connect it to input four. Now that may not be that clear. Let me. I did grab a picture of this. So if we're looking at the top of this, then you've got a 10 volt reference. You got a minus 24. We're not using those. And then we have input zero, which actually on our drawing goes to the potentiometer, but for this exercise, we're not gonna need it. But then we're starting right here. So button one is gonna go to input four, and then button two, button three, button four, and then switch one. That's what we're gonna be doing. All right, so I have a wire to button one, going to input four. Now I'll take a wire from button two and it'll go to input five. And then button three. 
go to input six. Then button four. We'll go to input seven. And then finally switch one. goes to input 8. Now absolutely the most left out piece when wiring your inputs is this COM0 right here. It doesn't really show up um, as maybe necessary when you're um, starting out, but this is what is going to complete your circuit. And so we always want to ask ourselves, do I have current? So I'm sending plus 24 volt to a button and I'm coming back to input 4 but I have to complete the circuit to this minus DC right here and that's going to be do, done with this COM0 coming down to minus DC. So I am going to connect a wire from COM0 to DC minus, which is any of the right set of terminals. That takes care of all of our input wiring here. So now we need to wire our outputs. And I'm just going to start by doing these jumpers to one side of each of our light and going to the minus DC. And on these particular lights, it doesn't matter plus and minus. So I'm just going to arbitrarily start connecting on one side and just keep jumping. So I'm going to take one wire to the right side of my light and then I'm going to take it and an additional wire to light 2 and then I'm going to take it and an additional wire to light 3 And I'll take it and an additional wire to light four. And then if we look here, all of these are jumpered together and then that wire is going to go to our minus DC. So I'm just going to connect it to the right set of terminals. Let's see. So it looks like the switches are sourcing to the PLC inputs. No, Rod, they are syncing. The way to remember it is if it's sourcing, then you're going to send power out of the input and then it's going to go to the zero volt. In this case, we're taking power from the plus through one of our contacts and taking here and we're syncing it to the minus. Let me find a link here to a syncing and sourcing video that we have that kind of explains that and kind of actually yeah I should have printed that out because this really helps you understand um, what not only what syncing and sourcing is but kind of some shortcuts to help you figure out which way to wire each of them. Okay yeah I've connected all these to the minus and, and since we're at it these are sourcing outputs, and it's really confusing because typically if you have syncing inputs, you will have sourcing outputs. Pretty rare it doesn't work that way. So in this case, these are the source of the power. So we're sending 24 volt out of them and going to our lights. Also, yeah, Rod, um, you definitely um, <laughs> you want to check out that video because what I just told you about syncing and sourcing is for Alan Bradley. It's also for many others, but there are some PLC manufacturers that do the opposite. Some of them do opposite on just the output. And then if I recall from that video, there was actually one manufacturer that swapped the terms even on their same model PLC as they go through a manual. So they, they are very confusing terms. So that's why I always like to see a diagram just to see how exactly we're gonna do it. But okay, now we're gonna con connect the other side of these lights. So light one goes to output zero, two, to one 
and they're just going to sequentially go up. So mainly you need to get that first one right. Light one is going to go to output zero. So light one is going to go to output zero. And then light two. Gonna get an output one. And light three. Is going to go to output two. And finally, light four is going to go to output three. We have now connected light one, two, three, and four to all their outputs, but we haven't actually powered outputs. And again, this is something I see a lot as people leave out these commons. Here's one thing to be really cautious of on this, is a lot of people will say, if you want syncing, you hook up minus CM0, and if you want sourcing, you hook up plus CM0. No, that's not so. This is a sourcing output module, so we're gonna need to hook up plus 24 to, C, to the plus CM0, but we're also gonna need to hook up this minus CM0 right here, because if you don't connect it, you actually, you'll see your outputs glow slightly when they're off. I actually have a video on that. Let's see. Alex, if you were using proximity switches instead of push buttons, you are, the proximity switches would need to be PNP based on your wiring, correct? You're absolutely correct. In that case, yeah, PNP is going to send out plus 24 to the input. NPN is going to take it to ground. So yes, in this case, we need a PNP type sensor to connect to these. But okay, so next I'm gonna connect the plus CM0 to our plus 24 and our minus CM0 to the minus. Also, I, I do have a close up of this because I just thought about it. You can't really see the bottom of this PLC. Just to make sure we have a good idea of what we're doing here. Now, here's a close up of the bottom of this PLC. And so light one, we hooked to output zero, which is O-00. Light two went to one, light three went to two, and light four went to three. And now I'm hooking plus 24 volt, or the left set of terminals on the trainer, to the plus CM0, and I'm gonna hook minus 24 volt, or zero volt, from the right set of terminals to the minus CM0. So I have my plus 24 volt going to plus CM0. And then we have the minus CM0 going to the minus. Okay, and that covers all of our wiring. And I know it looks a little messy, but this may get torn down and rewired four or five times today. Now, one thing I am going to do, and I actually don't recommend doing this normally, except I want you to be able to see everything, is I'm going to relocate this PLC to the front of the trainer. Also, I didn't actually mention yet, um, we do need to connect plus 24 volt and the minus 24 volt to power the PLC. This is already done on your trainer, and in this case, I've already moved that power up to the front side here. The way this program works is, if it's wired correctly, when we hit the green button, the green light will come on. When we hit the yellow button, the yellow light will come on. When we hit the red button, the red light will come on. When we hit the blue button, the blue light will come on. And then if we switch switch one, it'll sequence through them. Okay, so that tells us that all our wiring is good and we're ready to start writing some programs. If your lights don't sequence like this, double check your wiring, specifically the common terminals. COM1 and the minus CM1 need to both come down to the right set of terminals, our minus DC voltage, and plus CM1 needs to go to the left set of terminals, which is our plus 24 volt. After that, you're set to start learning. I'll put a link to the whole lesson series down in the description. Till next time.
Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.